this video shows you what you can do if you've got a stiff knob on your gas hob. As you can see there, the knob will, will not budge. So carefully remove the knob, which just pulls off, and get yourself some Regan Gas Tap Lubricant. This is special lubricant that can take high temperatures, um, especially designed for gas hob knobs. Um, don't use anything else. Just put a little bit around the base. It's something you can do this. We're not, you know, all you've got to do is take the knob off by pulling it, pulling it off and just work a little bit of the grease around. Obviously before you do this, turn the gas off, which I have done now. Then with a little adjustable spanner, we want to just turn the knob, turn, turn, just working the grease into, into the base of the spindle. Don't do it with the knob because you'll probably end up just breaking the knob. You, you need to do it with a spanner. Just gradually work the grease into it. Also, this hob that I was working on didn't have a flame supervision device. So I'm literally just turning it left for it to come on. On, with, with a hob that's got a flame supervision device, a more modern hob, you'd be pushing down and turning. So a little bit tricky with a spanner there. So um, we'll, we'll look at that on a different video. But on this one, all you've got to do is turn and work the grease into it. So a bit more grease, a bit more working into it we can actually put the knob on now because it is starting to turn it's not going to break the knob so we're just turning it turning it round to what would be high flame turning it right round to the low flame as well so we want it turning all the way Just spend a couple of minutes doing this, just get that grease worked in, into it. Um, with the temperature and the heat that the hob gives off, these knobs just tend to dry out a little bit. And then th there's no grease to help them turn. So this is a quite a simple job that you can that you can actually do yourself. A little bit of grease, a little bit of working it into it, twisting it back and forth, knob back on. It's starting to get a lot looser now. Yeah, before we couldn't even use the knob, you could not turn it whatsoever. So we can we can get it turned now and we can you know this hob's gonna be able to be can be used again. So here we go. We turn it, we light it, and hob is back in use. Turn it down to low, high, job done.